Hey guys, welcome back to Craftonomical FTB Revelations 1.12 of the, the clickbait of video. We're just here, guys. We're just killing some squids. Uh, oh, I need my magnet on. I'm just sitting here. I wonder, wait, can I do this now? Oh, nope. Does it hurt me? Let's see if this hurts. Hello? Oh, yep, it does hurt. So as you can see, just grabbing some, some inks inks from them and it'd be perfect if I had all those guardians now the problem is is it seems like I can't actually I might be able to get them to spawn back I thought of a way but anyway I'm not gonna do that today guys because today we, oh, we're trying to get into our base that's our goal for today we achieved our goal well that's all we're gonna do just kidding um, we've got to work with the ME quantum rings and I'm gonna show you guys how to set this up so basically what it does is it links your base wirelessly exactly what exactly what you think so i set one of those up in a different location and i can access all of my items so say for example what we're doing today is we're setting one up at our bee and botania farm and it will link back to our system here and we will get every single item the exact same here as it is over there so i've already set one up over there um just so we save a little bit of time on camera. That way I'm not taking up too much of your guys' time. So we're gonna, I'm going to show you today, guys, of how we're going to set this thing up. So it's a 3x3 three three multi-block structure. So you go like so. And you put this cool thing in the middle. And look at that. It just looks pretty. It looks beautiful. And then you put this little circle thing in here. When you're like, what the heck is that little circle thing? Well, let me show you. If we go like... Oh, we're going to need a flint and steel. Give me one sec. Let me grab one. So we go like this. And then, and then, where's my flint? Hello, flint. That's not steel. That's aluminum. For some reason, I need iron. Yeah. Anyway, okay, so let's go. Actually, no, I need to let you know how to make the singularity, because that's for the craft of 101. So, guys, what you're going to need is a matter condenser. Now, this is hooked up to our ME system. And basically, it just takes power. Um, so, you're going to hook that up here, and then you're going to put a... I don't know if it's a 64K drive in there. Um... All I've been doing, oop, give me one sec. Sorry for the interruption, guys. I just sneezed my brain out. But anyway, uh, you set this to singularity. You pump items out of here into there, and it gives you one of these. Now, I've got two of these just in case we need to link up another one for in the future. Maybe if we make a third base, which I don't know if, I don't know if we're making. Um, but you set that up, and it makes them into these singularities. Now, I remember you being able to um, use 1Ks for that. Oh, and this has changed a bit. I was testing out my, my wand of my staff of power. Uh, but what we're going to do here is we're going to break this block. We're going to set this TNT here. We're going to get these ready on our hot bar. We're going to light this TNT. Okay, we're not going to light the TNT. What the heck? Okay, we're going to light. How do you light the TNT? What the heck? I'm gonna break our pickaxe. What the heck? Oh, we need to turn our magnet off. Um, so what the idea was is you throw this here, this here, like so, and then you light the TNT. That doesn't seem to work. So let's head on back to home base. Let's grab some normal TNT. Oops, hello. TNT. Yeah, see? You're supposed to be able to light that thing on fire. Right here, this little tiny TNT. Uses. I don't want to make a dang cable facade. Is that okay? Gosh, dang. Um, so I'm going to bring another singularity. Just in case. I'm actually glad we have two. Um... And then, guys, we're going to bring a secondary ender dust. Ender dust thingamabobber. Yep. And then we're going to make not, not that TNT. Just, just this TNT. Yes. Now, this one should work. Oh, bye, Butcher. He left. He's gone. Nobody knows square. Nobody knows the square. Just kidding. We all know the square. Anyway... So like so, um, I'm gonna break that one just in case. So Q there, oh, Q there, Q there. 
right. There they are. Little singularities. Check them out. And these are quantum entangled singularities. So these are basically like linking cards for the two um, quantum rings. So let's go on here. We will probably need an energy acceptor. One of these. Make that up. Let's make a energy cell too, just to hold some AE power. So if we go, if we go like a so. Now we'll probably end up renaming this in the future. We throw that guy in there. Then we need to connect this up. As you can see, I've got 31 channels of 32. That's pretty crazy. Okay, grab some of these cables. Boom, as you can see, it's like particle effects are going on. How are we doing on power? We are doing beautiful on power. So let's head on over to the base. Where are you at? All right. Ah, there it is. As you can see, I already got it set up here. Identical, it's pretty simple. Now, if we put this one in here. Hold up, <laughs> I didn't bring anything. Um. Well, whoops. So we're gonna need energy acceptor, energy cell, boom. Yep, and that's on. Perfect. So technically speaking, we have all of our items here. So I'm gonna see about getting some uh, other stuff and things here. Oh, geez, scared me. Didn't mean to. Get wrecked, fool. Anyway, guys, I'll be right back. All right, guys, so we are back over here at the base, and I'm about to lose night vision. Not cool. But I went ahead, and I grabbed an ME interface, a few other items, and we're just going to hook this up and make sure everything works right. All right, so if we could just come out here like that. We'll worry about all the cabling and stuff like that in a little bit, guys. Don't worry. It won't be this ugly forever. So let's see. ME crafting terminal right in the middle. Boom, would you look at that. All of our items, all the way out here. And the cool thing is I also brought one of these uh, ME access points. So if we go like this, yep. Now our ME interface, our wireless terminal works out here as well. So when we come out here, it works. When we go home, it works. And the cool thing is, is we're able to set up crafting, right? And we're also able to make new patterns all the way out here, way out here, like, like, like 2,000 blocks away from our other base. Isn't that sweet? It's so sweet. It's minty sweet. That didn't make any sense whatsoever. But anyways, we're going to kill the Skeletor, and then we're going to get cracking on. All right, guys, so we got a little system set up over here. Um, as you can see, we have a squeezer over here. We've got seeds in here that are being squeezed into seed oil, and then they're getting taken out of the squeezer and put into our carpenters, so that way we can make the apiaries. So we're going to get crack a lacking right into bees today, guys. So let's see about getting the proper materials. We're just going to grab some of these, and we should be able to make at least two, so we can get started. I don't know what's going on. What is going on here? Let's grab some more seeds then. Okay, we'll throw them in here. What happens if you throw potatoes? No, I, I can't throw potatoes in there. Darn it. Oh, look at that. It made, made one? Um, like that? Is that how we're doing it? Oh, look at that. It's got a crab. It's doing it. It's doing it, everyone. Check it out. Ch -ch 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 Check it out. Check it out. All right. It should pop up over there, right? Yep, look at that. As soon as it gets more seed oil. Oh, never mind. So I was I was about to throw that on the ground. So we're going to start. We're going to go right at it, guys. Uh, but anyway, we need to grab. Ooh. Need some slay bajabas. I wonder if this works. Nope, doesn't work. That does, though. Okay, and let's see. Sweet, we got our first apiary, guys. All right, 
Now, how are we going to place this? Since this side is even, I think if we put one here and one here, we should be fine. Hey, spider. Spooky spider, get out of here. Okay. So I'll put him there. Can't work. No queen. Okay. So let's see here. Do we have... We need what? Is it a scoop? I think it's a scoop. Yep, it sure is a scoop. So let's see here. There should be some bees around here. I was fighting some of them earlier. Yep, here we go. Boom. Did we get any drones? We didn't get any drones. I should have some in here, though. Let's see here. Drone. Yeah, we get a lot of drones. We're going to use this cool-looking one, a steadfast drone. And we're going to see what happens. We need princess and the steadfast drone. Actually, hold up. We need to make some frames. Need to make some frames. This is just like... Ooh, not frames. This is just like old-school um, stuff. <laughs> that didn't make any sense. I'm sorry. Um, a proven frame. Interesting. And an apiary to improve the breeze production. Okay. That's cool and all. So we're just going to use... Okay. Go like that. Now, if we go here, we should have three slots. Perfect. And let's throw the steadfast drone in there and see what happens. Modest queen. No flowers. Okay. So we need to figure out what this queen needs. So we need to make an apiarist like diary thing. This one of these. Sorry. A uh, database. Oh, geez. We need water and a carpenter. Oh, geez. Um, so two redstone, tin, that's actually, that's actually not that bad. Fortunately, we can't auto-craft it. We're going to grab two of each just in case. Okay. Oops, missed. Okay, break that guy. Place him back. Okay, perfect. No seed oil. All right, now let's see here. Let's grab a bucket. Now, I think the server might be having a little bit of difficulties. The reason is because if I travel too fast and I come over here, you see it said waiting on server real quick. So, I'm wondering if we're having some slight issues. Perfect. That should be everything, right? Except the tin. We need tin. Tin, 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 tin. Okay. That's what I thought. Jeez. Oh, wait. Go like that. What? Oh, we need gold, too. Whoops-a-daisy. Can't, can't, can't brain today. I got the dumb. Okay, there we go. That should start crafting. Perfect. Okay. All right. Now we are all good to go. Now let's look at this. Take a look at this queen. Let's get on up here, <laughs> away from those guys. Okay, maybe that wasn't it. I thought that was what you did. Huh? That was supposed to let you see what type of stuff it needed. Ha <laughs> ha! They're recording. LOL. That's funny. Um, help. Um, bee swatter. So what do you do? Wait, how do you add to it? That doesn't make any sense. This is broken. <laughs> Benny's extra bees. Now, how do you, you freaking use it? Not that. This. Oh, registry. What is that? Oh, we need... Oh, geez. We need a lot. Okay. All right, guys. So as you can see, I added another machine down here. Um, we actually had to start making some honey because we were using the wrong one. So this is the Apiaris database. Uh, it's kind of like, I guess you could call it the storage for all the bees we analyze. But we're going to need a portable analyzer. And I've made one here. It's pretty simple to make. 
Um, so all you'll need is uh, 14 ingots, uh, two stained glass panes, redstone, and diamonds. So what you do is you take this honey and you put it here, right? And then you go, hey, I want to evaluate one of these bees. So you'll take the bee and then throw it in here like so, and it evaluates it. So as you can see, we can see some of the, um, oh, cactus, huh? Anyway, sorry. You can see the uh, specifications of this bee. So it's a modest, modest, active, inactive, uh, short, short, slower, slower, slowest, slowest pollination. Flower type is cacti. So this is basically nothing, nothing too special. Um, actually, I think they're still in there. Yeah. And so, pause for produce. It just tells us basically all the information uh, in it. And then once we um, find something that we are able to mutate it with, like once we mutate it, it will show us what was what ended up mutating it. So the cool thing is I've actually got cacti here. So I'll have to place it like so, and then like that, and this should be able to get to work. Yep, the bee, the queen's getting to work. Um, so that is working. Um, now let's see here. We should have another one. Perfect, impregnated frame. So now we can make another apiary. Now we can actually make three at this time. So, and I think I'm gonna have either five or six in each location. I don't quite know yet. Now where's the apiary? Am I blind? No, I didn't type it right. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so we'll place our other one here for now. Make sure we have a block that sticks out like so. All right, and then we'll place that one there. And so we placed it on that one over here. So if I were to do that, that would have been on this one. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Here and here, okay. Where's our dirt at? There it is. So each of these will now be an apiary. I missed over here. Did I miss? One, two, oh, no, I did not miss. I missed over here is where I missed. Okay, so what this will allow us to do is we'll just be able, we're just mapping out where we want our, want our stuff, stuff and things. That's the easiest way to tell where these go. Just base it off of that. See? Oh, that one's off a little bit. Oh, well, no worries. Um, but let's break this. Put it here like so, and then we'll break this one. Okay. Now the bees have, have changed a bit for me. So, and I think we'll just keep it in a pattern like that. I really like that. I think it's pretty roomy. One, two, that's in the middle. Actually, we missed over here as well. Give me one second. All right, guys. Well, that looks kind of freaky looking. Uh, so I've got this sorceress queen here and we're gonna figure out what type of aspects it needs. So just flowers in general, huh? That's all it needs. Fertility three by three. Oh, three. Wow, not bad. Shorter, slowest. Territory average, not bad. Okay. Hmm, nothing too crazy with this one, but we're going to throw it in here. And let's just grab a flower. Let's see what we have. Um, oops. Do we have, oh, look at that, look at these bees. I forgot I had these attuned ones. Um, oh, we don't have flowers. Uh, do we have, what are they called, rose? No, but I do see some flowers over here, just like so. So it looked like these were just them, huh? Okay, nothing to worry about. Let's see. Oh, look at that, it's working perfect. Now, I don't have any more honey, unfortunately. Now, a good way for me to get honey would be to go around, bash up some more of these um, hives, as you can see. And when I do it, they, they really do love me, that's for sure. See, and then we do get 
combs out of that. So I'm going to do that for a little bit, guys. We're going to get some more bees, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I'm in this lush uh, swamp because this is where the Valiant, dr or Valiant drones are going to be crafted up. We got this attuned princess. Now, if you look at the uses here, if we go on over, where is it? Um, huh. There was a chance to get an epic. Now, I don't remember. Was it you, maybe? Um... Hmm. I don't remember who it was from, but anyway, we need the Valiant Drones uh, going over here. Uh, let me go ahead and mark these these guys over here. We'll just go B's small thingy. We'll commit that. We're good. Now let's head on back to the Batania base, So or the B base. I don't know what we're going to call this. Uh, I moved this one, by the way. Uh, that one's almost done, and uh, it was this, this these steadfast drones. If you look here, if you combine them with a valiant, they have a six percent chance of getting a heroic. So that is super duper cool. We're gonna try to do that um, because these guys produce cocoa combs, which is something I don't really care about. Um, but it's gonna help us down with the uh, like the tech flow that um, and these bees are freaking crazy classical. I mean, you get royal jelly, which you use this for um, like databases stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. Um, but guys, I think we're going to wrap up the episode for today. Sorry, it's a short one, guys. I am so stretched thin on time for this episode. Uh, I will see you guys on Friday in our next episode. So peace out. Excuse me. Bye-bye.